Hello, my name is Mrs. Gardner and I'm the school nurse at Innova High School and I'm here with some more familiar faces from your nurse's office around the district. I have Mrs. Uhouse, Mrs. Cambies, Mrs. Garrity, and Mrs. Loran and we're going to read to you today The School Nurse from the Black Lagoon by Mike Baylor and pictures by Jared Lee. Hope you enjoy. There's supposed to be a nurse at school. No one's ever seen her. No one at least has ever come back. They say her office is behind the principals. There it is. Her name is Miss Hurst, the nurse, and she's supposed to be a real ghoul. Where does it hurt? All around her office are supposed to be dripping color pictures and see-through statues of body parts, eyeballs on rubber bands, heads filled with brains and body stuff with everything else. She is supposed to have a skeleton hanging in the corner. They say it's a kid that went there with a stomach ache. She cured it. She never leaves her office. She must eat her lunch there. Take a seat, dessert. They say she is always ready for any emergency. And once a kid got cut in half using the paper cutter. They say Miss Hurst gave him a Band-Aid and sent him home. Go home. Well, thanks. Something's wacko. Another kid got run over by the VCR cart and was flattened. He's now the rug in her office. You don't go there unless you're really sick. And she knows if you're faking. She has a thermometer the size of a flagpole and it can read the temperature in your toenails. Keep it under your tongue. She has tongue depressors as big as surfboards. So you should only go there if you have major afflictions. Say, ah. Uh. Then there are the tests. She measures your height against a wall chart. And if you're too short, she stretches you on the rack until you reach the line. I'm taller, I'm taller. Then you have the big I chart. If you can't see the big E, uh, uh, F, she uses your eyeballs as for billiard balls. And then there's the hearing test. Can you hear me? If you don't pass the hearing test, she puts your ears on her, her jewelry collection around her neck. Next is vaccinations. Her needle is so long, she can vaccinate six kids at once. It's sort of like shish kebab. Ouch. And then there's ice. If you fall down, she puts you in the freezer. Some kids take all summer to thaw out. There's also the cot. The mattress is filled with bricks and the pillows is filled with rocks. The blanket is made out of sandpaper. On the first day of school, Penny Weber went there for a nap. She hasn't straightened out since. Eric Porter went there with a toothache. Now we call him Gums. Freddie Jones went there with a sore throat. Now his head is attached directly to his shoulders. Oh no, I'm breaking out in blue dots. They are all over my hand. I must have leprosy. My hand will fall off. I better go to the school nurse. Help. I walk into her office. Freddie Jones is taking a nap. Either that or he's dead. Miss Hurst is sitting at her desk. She looks pretty normal. Hello. I show her my hand. She wets a paper towel and gently rubs. The blue dots disappear. How's that? She asks to see my pen. I take it out of my pocket. She shows me where it's leaking. She smiles and gives me a new one. Cool. She's a miracle worker. I'm cured. She pats me on the head and tells me to visit anytime. 
I go back to class and write her a thank you letter with my new pen. Thank you for joining us. I hope you enjoyed our virtual read as much as we enjoyed creating it for you. See you soon. Miss you. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.